uh, most of them are actually printed with a printing press. Oh, okay. I'd probably However, be intrigued. Hmm? Because, because these guys were fucking loaded. Mm -hmm. And, you know, printing presses actually exist in the world, except they are extremely rare, and it's cheaper to mm -hmm. write up books by books. But Is it really ever cheaper to write book by book than use a printing press? When there's, like, three printing presses in the world, yes. Yeah, I suppose. It's more of a speciality. Anyway, if, do I have any chance of finding that book? If you go search for it. Yeah, I'll probably do that. It's on the other side of the room. So you cross in front yeah. of the fireplace. Uh, is, this the, is this the fireplace? No. Ah, this thing. Yeah. Sure. Nick. Looking Hi. around the place. Hi. Seeing if we can find anything. I guess we start. Uh, Samuel starts heading up. All oh, right. Place. Test. Hmm? We'll save versus death. No, you're assaulted by a fireball. Please we'll make save. a reflex save. Mm -hmm. I really should just make a macro for will save, considering how often I've been rolling this. Holbert, you see the scarf that's laying across. That's laying across the um, chair. Start floating. Test. Mm -hmm. You see it's being hold, held by one a ghostly image of Audrin Foxglove and he's trying to choke you to death. <laughs> okay. Like, dude, calm down. <laughs> Just walk mm -hmm. over to him. Rude. <laughs> However, you are not paralyzed by, it, by the vision. Okay. Can I just slowly back off? Phantasmal killer spell. Or weird. No, that would be terrible at this level. Holy shit. However, with that fucking... <laughs> 19 plus 8 will save. Like, he like follow he's following you through the room, though, so... Mm -hmm. He is following you through the room. Well, I only see Scarf, so... Yes. I mean, you before I act... You should by a fucking Scarf. Before I act, mm -hmm. is it... Can we see anything through those windows? Yes. You can see your watery grave. Literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there, there's a cliff in water. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will go... No, wait, I just like... Try to... Grab the scarf and hold it in place. It immediately stops as you grab the scarf. Do okay. I feel hideous energies going through my body? <laughs> or nothing really? Yes, you are now an antic lyric. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, now that the threat has been gone, I'd probably keep searching. However, you, you feel the scarf pulling towards Cass still. Could you hold it in place while I find the book I'm looking for? I look at Culver. I try to hold it in place, or even... The fireplace, is it empty? Like... No, it is not. Okay, while holding the scarf, I'm, I'm trying to get to fireplace. A splash of dried blood stains the back of the northernmost chair. An examination of the book end in the fireplace reveals more blood, clots of hair, and bits of skull and flesh. In addition, part of one wing has been broken off. Sexy. Okay, I... Mm. Is there... Yeah, I, I'm really not good at puzzles and solving hounds, so I'm just trying to figure out, like, like my character, would he figure it out? Like, should he uh, put the scarf on the blood so the scarf will have blood, so like soak it, or...? You're not fighting a great raid. Fuck me. <laughs> he like... Uh, yeah, while holding the scarf, he tries to use the scarf to touch the dried blood on the chair, and if that's not enough in the fireplace, if I understood that correctly. Neither works. Hmm. Do I find...
in the book I saw flying over me. Roll me another perception. Oh, God. Guess competence on my system. Wait, was that the name of it? Anyway, plus one on the random save. So it's not completely garbage. Would you know to cast it? Oh, yes, you would. I guess that's fair. Mm. You were looking. Yes, I have absolutely garbage perception, so I might as well try to buff it. <laughs> it's a fucking fight. You did not find it in the pile of books. In fact, it may, may have not even existed in the first place. <laughs> I have, like, the most bad perception ever. <laughs> it's biting me in the ass, but I'm loving it. Anyway, I'd probably... Actually, I'd probably keep searching. Mm. If Colbert looks like he's going to leave, I'm probably going to leave because I don't want to get strangled by a random fellow. Well, while you guys are in there, Oren and Samuel are apparently going up different staircases. Yes, we are. Would the necromancer be following we Samuel? We are a team well prepared. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, hang on. Okay, yeah, that's it. I think. Let me check. Split okay. the party is you, are, you, you are somewhat safe, Oren, because that is indeed an up staircase. <laughs> oh, yeah, everyone roll me perception checks. Sure. Sure. Understood. <laughs> Understood, Commander. <laughs> what the fuck is Samuel, that? Samuel, and Oren, you all hear sobbing coming from upstairs. Well, shit. Now, now, don't cry. Oren's here. That's why they're crying. Samuel. <laughs> oh, no, brown cow. You are there. Yeah. Or right. you were there. Dun, dun, dun. Is the piano still playing? Yes, you can still hear the piano. By the way, is the necromancer following Samuel? He, he's chilling out in the library with you. Okay, then I'd ask him to help me search. Can he make a perception check? Hmm. Hi. Hello, he, he, he directs his zombies to start humane. sifting through the books, mm -hmm. but it's not very effective. Oh, you find the zombies and books. Uh, oh, you find the bio. Orin. I kick it open this door. So every door is going to have an orange shaped footprint. Orin. Oh. Yes. You hear footsteps behind you. Turn around. There's nothing there. Take a couple of steps back into the room. Lose one insanity point. Hello? More, more on the steps than the room itself. I kind of peek around the staircase. There's nothing there. Guy, either come up or stay down. Just make a fucking decision. God. You damn. guys all hear Orin yelling. <laughs> and then I walk. I kick open the door again, and Samuel enters me. <laughs> oh my. You become one. <laughs> we are Saren. <laughs> Saren. Mm. Huh. Zane. This is a place. Lots of rooms, lots of doors, lots of kicking to be had. Where's the okay. uh where's the crying coming from? You don't know. Alright. But it's on this floor, right? Or higher? No, it's higher. Okay. Alright, I call out, hello, is anyone here? Yes. Cool. Tell the answer is yeah. Do you kick open that door? I'm assuming... Yeah, I kick open the door. It's a porta potty. <laughs> a stone fireplace sits in the northwestern portion of this chamber. Paintings hang on the wall to the north and south, each covered by, covered with a thick sheet of dusty cobwebs that obscures, that obscures its subject from view. Hmm. All right. Can I walk up to one of the paint paintings and kind of just run a claw through the uh, cobwebs? Yes, you can. Push him away. 
the Oh, no, never mind that it's happening. Okay, um, you see a picture of a person. Descriptive. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> hmm, that would be the south. So... There are five paintings on the south wall and three to the north. The one that you did is a man that's tall and thin but with a narrow face and a thin mustache. All right. Uh, walk on, kind of do the same with some of the other pictures. A young woman with long red hair and an impish smile and three children. All right. Basically, what I'm going to end up, what's going to end up happening is. Do you get all of them? Yeah, and all of the cobwebs will be on one claw. As, as you clear off the last one, the temperature of the room drops dramatically. Your breath begins to frost in the air, and fingers of rhyme slither across the walls. The figures depicted in the portrait suddenly shift from paintings of living people to those of dead folk. Oh. Some huh. a couple of them slump into misshapen, tumor-ridden corpses. One of them goes pale with a long cut, opens his throat, and blood washes down over his chest. Another blackens and chars with, the, with her arms and legs and back twist as if broken in dozens of places. One of them darkens with rot, and, hair, and his hair falls out, and he deforms into a ghoul-like monster. Ooh. And two of them frost over, but otherwise remain unchanged. One of them, specifically, of an old man, erupts into a ex sudden explosion of fungus and tumorous growth. This wave of fungus and disease washes over the entire room in seconds before the room suddenly reverts to normal. Make a DC 15 fortitude save. Alright. Uh, versus disease? Yes. Right. That actually, I forgot. I get my bonus from it. I am fine. Uh, this fungus, does it look the same as the piano? No. All right. So I kind of walk out, peek around the corner. There's more of a red fungus. Hey, Samuel. Two things. Mm -hmm. I hold up my, like, cobwebbed hand. I got a glove. Isn't it awesome? Anyway, bad stuff in here. Uh, pictures changing, backs are broken, fungus appearing. He just looks at you in, in confusion, okay? I walk over to him, take him by the shoulder with the cobwebbed hand, and kind of begin pulling him with. <laughs> Gotta see it. Is he? Are you dragging me? If you're, a, he's not forcing you. He's basically like playfully dragging you, basically, and then right. idly wiping the cobwebs on your shoulder, <laughs> and then showing you the room. All right, I'll take the cobwebs off my shoulder and put it on your face. I and kind of look that... at the cobwebs. Like I go um, cross-eyed to look at the cobwebs pull it off my face. It's like, well, that you could just, you know, put it on the floor, I suppose. It's not look very nice face. to put it in someone else's face, buddy. Alright, I look at the picture. What do I see? I just realized that technically the cloak will be following me through this entire place because Zerem will have the hit and follow me around. <laughs> I'll be chased by an evil cloth. Hang on. Mm. 
All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Although it's a good idea to give oh, all hi, initially cursed back. items to Necromancer, he's used to that shit. Yeah. Generally, it hurts good people, so it doesn't get hurt. Give it to the bad one. Anyway, mm. Mm. I start heading out from this room, sadly having to leave, and wait in front of the staircase. You wait in front of it. Yeah, waiting for the for oh. Colbert and Sir. Mm. Colbert, <laughs> as you walk back into that room. Yeah. Make a reflex save. Actually, no, wait, never mind. Uh, the Manticore comes to life. Oh, God. And attacks oh. you. Okay. Uh. You mean the this thing, yeah? Yeah, it bursts in... It, it comes to life bursting into flames and attacks you. Uh, okay. Is Holy shit! Holy fuck! Do we roll initiative or what? Does a 17 hit your AC? Uh, thankfully, it's a miss. Yeah, my AC is 23. I was about to say flat-footed, but I don't think you have a lot of dex. <laughs> flat-footed is 21. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost better flat-footed than when I However... It then eats Afterwards, it. it then goes back to normal. Well, Did anybody saw anyway. that? This freaking thing attacked me. Man, you're just insane. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, did we see that thing? No, you did not. Okay. So we look at him oddly. It, well, actually, no. Kest, roll me a perception check. <laughs> Do you want to see if I saw anything? Yes, I fucking saw it. <laughs> the, the Manticore statue, the fur on it seems to be smoldering slightly. Okay, what what exactly did it do to you? Mm -hmm. It came to life and tried to attack me after bursting into flames. At least that's what I saw. Do you wanna smash it or do we simply hurry up and hope it doesn't chase after us? Mm. Uh, I mean, I could try, but uh, and then I look ah. at the statue. Does it look like sturdy material or? It, it looks like a stuffed manticore. A stuffed manticore, okay. Uh, I, like, come up closer and I try to smash away the, the, uh, not chain, the tail. Mm. You successfully smash away the tail. Do we give it to the to the necromancer? Mm. Yeah, we give we give the tail. He just kind of shrugs and says he doesn't want it. It's stuffed. It's dead. What's not to like? But it's dead for some time. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. let's uh, let's go upstairs to meet the others. Yeah. yeah, we head upstairs. Can you just pick all of us up and transport us? Hmm. Thank you. Okay. What has Orin and Samuel been doing this time? The, mm. Well, while you're doing yeah. that, the room exploded in to fungus on Orin. Yeah. Okay, what? The room ejaculated fungus on me. Yes, you are All now right, a I host of back. spores. Alright, mm. I go back out then. You don't want to catch it. <laughs> Samuel, like, no. No, Samuel, when you walk in there, uh, Samuel, you see nothing except for a bunch of paintings that have been cleared off. I'm um, guessing yes, you open that door, Orin? No, actually, I want to take oh. a peek at this. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm, I will kick it open and then take a peek at this. Okay. Imagine you kicking the door while taking a peek that at this. That is a fireplace. Is there anything within the fireplace? Fire. Place. Sometimes stuff is actually hidden under I know. ashes. Wise guy. I, I'm trying to find the thing again because I apparently shoot. lost it because I'm bad. Oh, there it is. Nope. All right. In fact, there seems to be a distinct lack of ashes in the fireplace. Well, shit. Fluffy bad. 
Ooh. The furniture in this bedroom, while dusty and unkempt, does not exhibit any major signs of water or mold damage. The one exception is a dark stain on the desk near the northern window. Ew! Someone pissed on the desk. Um, I walk over to the desk. Roll me a will save. Certainly. Just walked over to it. I haven't touched it. Just in case it matters. Roll two will save. <laughs> you are suddenly overwhelmed with the conviction that you have just killed the person you love most. Overwhelmed with despair, you move over to the desk, retrieve what appears to be a silver-handed dagger from it, and then you try to cut your own throat. Coup de gras yourself. Okay. Uh, what's the dagger? Uh, let's see. Uh, what's the dagger? With a damage? dagger or my actual claw? Um. Two d four plus strength. All right. Then fortitude plus the damage dealt. You're probably dead if you do that. Can I try to stop him? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Yes, you if can. Fortitude plus the damage dealt. I am fine. I literally need to roll a one in order to fail. I'm fine. Ten plus the damage dealt. Yeah, I'm still fine. My fortitude save is plus eleven. Okay. Oh god. Okay. You take ten. Da no, nine damage. Nine damage. Mm -hmm. the, in addition, this causes one d four points of bleed damage. Ow. Ow. Oh. All right, Colbert. Things are causing me um, to kill myself. Please actually, give me it heal. does. Uh, Thirteen damage. Not t not nine, and then the bleed. Oh. Yeah. Right. So for it critical it, it criticals you is what it's doing. So. I'm still fine. Yeah. But I kind of st stagger out of the door. Colbert's also, the, 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 dagger, the dagger is now a jagged piece of wood. <laughs> hey. Colbert, heal me. <laughs> what happened? Things are causing me to kill myself. Uh, yeah, before all of us go, I, I will hear you, but just stop. Going off alone, this place is cursed and evil, and we and we need to stick together. Uh, okay, for healing, I will use uh, use encouraging words. My first level, because I don't have too much second level. Spells. Actually, you can just save it for now. He'll be fine. Oh, it hurts. Yeah. He just is that just like bleeding as he like barely. Yeah, first level spell. Cure, cure light wounds. One d eight plus four. You heal five. Jesus. Thank you. I think that stops bleeding. Stops bleeding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that Colbert has never rolled good in a heal, like... Yes, you still hear the piano. <laughs> Don't touch things. They hurt. Alright, I open the door. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Turn around and ignore you. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this looks interesting. This large room features two padded chairs and a long couch facing a wide alcove lined with stained glass windows. The windows depict a diverse scene, while well, a diverse array of animals and plants from north to south are a large, pale, and ghostly scorpion. A gaunt man holding out his arms as dozens, as a dozen bats hang. Nah. Yeah. Nah. 
that nah. hang from him, a moth with a strange skull-like pattern on its wings, a tangle of dull green plants with bell-shaped flowers, and a young maiden sitting astride a well in a forest, while a spindly spider the size of a dog descends along a string of webbing above her. Oh, that's a lot. Knowledge Arcana check to identify them. Please, yes, please. Uh, if we may enter and try, then we will... Actually... Just... What? Can I the take necromancer 20? speaks up when he looks at him. Hmm? And says, these are all classic sp spell components for necromancy. Scorpions, venom, vampire's breath, tongues of deathwing moths, belladonna, and the heart of a maiden, maiden slain by poison. Wait, hmm. how do you catch a vampire's breath? Do you just hire a vampire to breed on you? Features, I've never done it before. And there is more information if you want sh to make the knowledge or counter check yourself. Okay. I will attempt to do so. And of I course, will take 20. Jesus yep. fuck. <laughs> Can I take 10? Hmm. What do you get when you take 10? 24. If I can take 20, I get 21. <laughs> you both know as much as the necromancer. Was 25 the thing I needed to get? No. Was it 30? You don't know. God damn it. Alright. I uh, search the rest of the room for anything important. Are you wondering if you get haunted? Is that what you're? Is that what you're searching for? No, nothing else happens. Yes, he's wondering how to get right. haunted. I'm like, hmm. I mean, if those are components for necromancy, it kind of suggests that Foxglove family, or at least one member, was dabbling in necromancy. Yeah, I believe. It's almost like uh, this uh, mansion was evil or something. Yes, it is. I felt that. I got staggered. <laughs> Anyways, we should move on. As I open this door. You see one of the zombies scratching against the wall for some reason. <laughs> Tragic. Uh, which one? The far zombie, the one below Orin. Also, by the way, oh. Samuel, when did you lose life? I lost life. No, I think it's, it looks like your bar isn't entirely full. Huh. Mm. I copied you guys over from... Yeah, okay. It's probably a lot uh, like 2 HP. The last place, so... Mm. An iron tub sits in the middle of this room. The floorboards around it sagging with the tub's weight. Uh, do we see what's over here, or is there anything at all? No. N y you see darkness. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Smile, friend. Alright, I take a closer look at the tub. Roll me a reflex save. <laughs> as the floor collapses as you step on it. Holy uh, shit. Can I try to catch him? No. Make a reflex check. Yeah. Reflex save. You weren't close enough to catch him. Ah. Holy shit. That's a lot yeah. of reflex saves. Going <laughs> off that first <laughs> one. Yeah, first one. You fall into uh, B6 above and take t uh, two. <laughs> you fall into the toilet. Thousand points of damage. Six falling damage. Um, can he reduce uh, that? Kill us! Kill us! I tell you. Can he reduce that with an acrobatics? You can try. I forget right, how uh, you uh, acrobatics, but. Let's see, I, yep. Uh, you can the, reduce fall damage from being aware of, an, of a jump oh. you're making, not from a thing you're not aware of making. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. So we all ignore Samuel and keep going. Yep. <laughs> Which door do you kick open? Both at the same time. The, the first one opens, the lower one does not. Garrett. Oh no, I'm that okay. <laughs> it's like we all ignore you. Yeah, I was like, you, you okay, Samuel? And I don't step into the room. 
I may have installed a tub to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> the the lower door doesn't open though. It seems to be re, re, hit, it seems to hit something. I'm on my way back up. As I say, as I take a look at the paintings and start heading towards the stairs. Do we have a rope, Colbert? You have a rope. Can't you just let him climb up? I have a rope. Yes. Yes. Throw it at him and let him. Or you could just, up. you know, actually walk up the stairs, you lazy piece of shit. No, oh it's God. so low. <laughs> this one fine chamber has been destroyed. The bed is smashed, the mattress torn apart, the walls gouged as if by knives, chairs hacked apart, and paintings on the walls torn to pieces, with one exception. A portrait hanging on the northwestern wall seems to be untouched, as, although it hangs backward. It's unseen subject facing the wall. You know, I'm kind of interested to see what happens if you touch that, but it's almost certainly cursed, you know, Orin. Mm. I am not touching shit. No, <laughs> Orin, you go first. You touch the oh, horror. Die the fire. Thing. You fucking <laughs> no. No, my mind ain't strong, you folks. <laughs> you go do that a, shit. You're a meat shield. Go and no, turn die the fire. Don't <laughs> make me actually. I will force you to touch it. What well, is a problem? your face all over it. What do you see in the room? What is there to uh, investigate? There's a lot of destroyed stuff and a painting turned the wrong way. And the painting is not destroyed. Yes. Uh, My okay. fault. I might risk it. So I just... Where's the painting? I slowly approach it. Just hey, you know what I thought? Yeah. What hmm? if Colbert were to actually channel positive energy? How would the house react? You don't know. It will probably do something horrible, but it will be interesting to see. I mean, I have yeah, the painting right. and... Yeah, that's painting and... Does it look like the painting is like tilted or upside down or... It, it's, turn, it's turned around, so the subject is facing the wall. Ah, so I don't see the contents. Uh... Orin! Yes? Nothing happens to you. Test! <laughs> Fucking don't! I will kill you! After two rounds, you feel a sudden hatred of a woman and an urge to attack the closest woman. But there's no yes. woman here. You're fucked. <laughs> yes. Fuck your fuck.